thing about it as trainers, when we win the first one, we think it's us. And we, put, we get all puffed up and we think we've really done something. And Wayne Lucas is back in the winner's circle on Breeders' Cup Day. As you get older, it doesn't get any easier. You realize how difficult it is. It's the nature of the racing game. You know, one minute you're up and then you're down and back up again, but it's wonderful. You know, when you're 86, going to be 87 in a few months, you know that there are not a lot of them in front of you yet. And uh, I'm still getting up the same as I did when I was 40 and still on that pony every morning. I just want to get up and have a secret oath or something to look forward to when I get to the barn every day. I always say at clinics that when you have passion for anything, you eliminate the excuses. When you got passion for something, you'll stay up all night, go without food, drive, sleep, whatever, to get where you want to go. is to let these owners have the opportunity to enjoy this and get that thrill. And I'm really thankful for the opportunity to train for you. For the Mitchells, obviously Wayne, at the peak of his career, was a dominant figure. He's not as dominant now. What gives you the confidence to entrust this horse to him? Okay, so I look at Wayne and I said, who is he trained? Todd Pletcher, Dallas Stewart, Mark Henning. Karen McLaughlin, Mike Maker, and Dallas Stewart, what, trained Brad Cox? If you train five men that ultimately end up in the Hall of Fame, that's not an accident. It's interesting, there, in racing, there's no how-to book. And most guys do not share anything. So when we came along, I thought, well, the, the basketball coach came out me in a little bit, and we started with these great young guys, and we decided that we would teach and share with them is probably as satisfying and maybe as big as much of our legacy to have these 13 guys that we've put out there in the, in the game now that are doing so well. Somebody told me the other day that we had 15 Eclipse champion fillies. So now here she comes along, not a champion yet, but working on, that, on her resume. And the thing that people ask me how she compares, she compares with any of them. You come along and winning colors is the darling of your life. And then Serena Song comes along. And then, you know, Open Mind comes along. And so you fall in love with the one you took to the dance the last time. And so when this one comes along, she's the most special one in the barn right now. Staying healthy and everything, she'll go on to do everything that some of these other good ones we had did.